All right, so let's get into it. We're going to call this segment, Dear Color Me. All right. So let's get into some of the questions and see how quickly I can answer them. <laughs> the first question that I want to answer, it is, says, color me. What is a guilty pleasure of yours? Um, I wrote down some of the answers so I wouldn't get off subject, but you know me, I'm going to talk. Um, but I can tell you right off the bat without looking at my notes that I don't have a guilty pleasure. Sorry. Um, but I do enjoy watching some reality television. Um, I like to watch real people living real lives and not afraid and ashamed um, to be shown. Okay. And one of my favorite reality television shows that I had to give up within the last couple of years is Atlanta Housewives. And without going into great detail, you know, I don't need the people coming for me, but I'll just say this, no Nene, no color me. The class left the show, period. All right, the next question is, this is a cool question. Um, Cause I talk a lot about relationships and I've been married before and it was, it was horrible. <laughs> That's just, I'm putting, I'm being nice about it, okay? I don't care. I'm telling the truth. Color me if you ever decide to get married again. <laughs> that tickles me. It says, color me if you ever decide to get married again. What is one of the character characteristics <laughs> he would have to possess? Okay. There are a lot of characteristics that he would have to possess, like being honest, not being a con artist, <laughs> not being a thief. I could go on forever. Okay, but so we stay on subject. My answer to that question is he would have to be at peace with himself. Because if he as long as he's at peace with himself and he loves himself, um, then he's not going to disturb my peace. Okay, and I, that's what I that's how I answered that question. So if I ever were to do it again, one of the characteristics that my um, mate from heaven from God, because <laughs> that's where he gonna have to drop. He gonna have to come from. He gonna have to. God gonna have to. I'm telling you. So uh, yeah. So that would be my one of my things that I would look for, and I would know. Um, that he might he might be the one is that he would have to be at peace with himself because if a man is at peace with himself ladies he won't disturb your peace if somebody's in your life and they disturb your peace where how can you it's a it's a wrap can't can't get nowhere can't do nothing with that one can you all right i'm doing good right okay so another one is color me how do you get over ghosting, <laughs> being ghosted? That's what it says. How do you get over being ghosted? And then it said, first I should ask, have you ever been ghosted? Um, yes, I have several times and uh, by the same person. <laughs> okay, so without getting into details, I mean, you know what they call ghosting, you know, you, you start talking to somebody you know you got feelings for them they got feelings for you and then boop out of the blue no call no nothing just gone and then like maybe a few months later boop they pop back up uh and then they disappear again and then they boop a year later they pop back up boop they disappear again so yes i have been what we call nowadays being ghosted before and some may say well why did you allow that that is a good question. Um, it's probably because I like that person and I'm a busy person just like they are. And you don't have a lot of time for like, I don't have a lot of time to give to another human being uh, at this point in my life. I, I'm starting to get a little bit more time freed up because I just got one kid at home 
and uh, he's a teenager so he's almost as self-sufficient as you're gonna get with a kid so i love that you know um you know but yes i have been ghosted before and um i would definitely say that you can always tell when it's going to happen because you can feel it you can sense the type of person that you're dealing with now it is up to you just like it was up to me to continue to entertain that person because of course if you like someone you always think well maybe 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 but in the back of your mind deep down in your gut in your heart you know <laughs> you know they're gonna play the disappearing act on you you already know that so um but yes i have and um you know it's it's a difficult situation if you have feelings for a person but that's why it is so important to not catch feelings for people that don't mean you any good period because in a lot of those situations all it takes is like conversation you know and honesty like you know i'm not looking for a serious relationship i just want to hang out you know i got somebody else i'm seeing other people this is just a b a b call you know what i'm talking about or we just chilling and this is nothing you know i don't want to go any further than this i just you know what i'm saying so those types of those types of comments are really really key when you're talking to somebody or getting to know somebody because that way that other person kind of knows where you stand and what you're thinking but yes i have been ghosted before i'm human i've been on this earth for almost 50 years i'd be lying to tell you if i had it it's no big deal you get over it <laughs> okay then the last question is color me what is something people don't know about you there's a lot of things because i've been I've, I've i'm quiet around a lot of people so people that don't know me really really well probably think i'm like this quiet no nothing type of a human being but i'm it's the total opposite um you know i just talk when i need to talk and i do you know i move how i need to move around certain people in certain situations and uh so that's just me and my personality um I'm a very reserved and laid back person until it's time for, for me to go. You shoot me out of the cannon and I'm rolling. It just depends on the situation and the environment that I'm in. Um, some situations uh, that you're in uh, require you to be quiet and listen and pay attention. If you're talking all the time, you can't hear and you can't learn. And I like to observe my situations, especially when I feel like I'm in an environment of uncomfortability. I like to be quiet and listen and pay attention to things, you know? So, you know, I guess that's just one thing. And then another thing about me is that you cannot make me jealous. I'm not a jealous hearted person. Never have been. Um, and that's, it's funny because people like to try to make me jealous. <laughs> and I don't know why, but it's just like they do. Like, it, I don't get it, but I don't really. And it's really funny to me because it's just not a characteristic trait of mine. I'm not perfect. We all have issues. We all have our hangups and things that we need to work through and all that good stuff. But that's just one thing about me that I just, I, you know, one thing about being jealous is, um, and this is something I learned early on in life. And I don't know if I learned this from my mother or if it's just something that's just inside of me. You know, some things are inside of you that you don't get from your mother or your father. You just are born with certain things. And I just can't be made jealous. Like there's nothing that nobody out here in this world has that I either have not had or cannot get. And one thing about me is I don't want something that someone else has. Like I don't want, I've never been a person who uh, wanted somebody else's man or their lifestyle or anything that they had because for one you don't know what it took for that person to get those things you know then two i want what god has for me i don't want anybody else's blessings i don't want anybody else's success i don't want anybody else's life period because everybody's journey is different we're all put on this earth for something totally different to all make make this earth a better place i hope 
And so that's just not something that I don't look at people and go, oh, I wish I had her hair. Or, oh, I wish I was skinny like her. Or, oh, I wish I had, you know, I just don't, it's nothing. I, I don't, I don't get, I don't get off on um, desiring materialistic things that other people have. Because nine times out of 10, and I'm not bragging, it's either I've already had it, I don't want it. Or if it's something that I want or that I would like to have, I use that as inspiration and not jealousy. And I know that God told me, it's in his word, that whatever desire that is in my heart and is a, is, is, is a part of his will for my life, I will get it. I will obtain it. If it's meant for me to keep it, I will. If, if it was just meant to pass through me, I'll have it and then have to release it. And so I look at things totally different than a lot of uh, different people. But that's one thing that uh, a lot of people probably don't know about me is that I you can't make me jealous for why <laughs> well that concludes this part of dear color me now let's get back to this beautiful perfume <laughs> 